All right, Shalom, Makim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakwadash, and honest to you bros who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Of course, keep pushing. You know we almost out of here. And this is just going to be a quick lesson, man, um, which is why I'm entitling this The Spirit of Satan. Check this out. See, these men are coming in the spirit of Satan. It ain't about righteousness or, or, or the Lord or anything anymore to these men. All right. This is uh, from the head of the Dallas camp, uh, Yashawamba, GMS Dallas, Remnant Save 144. And you see the title of his lesson. We won't be running from pit bulls or scared of any animals in a new covenant. Now, check this out. I'm going to start with this. All right. This is the brother Kwam Yakal. He cut him, you know, in the uh, chat. And, um, you know, he and um, this was uh, Yasha Wombo's response. See, you could read it on the screen. But he said, it was said in the lesson, some will receive power on this side. We go from glory to glory. So why wait till then? Do a lesson walking in front of wild animals. And let's see if that new covenant talk works for you. Show yourself getting blown up. And let's see if you walk out of the fire. And he put Ephesians 4 and 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High, while, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. And you see his other comment, but... um. I told him, I said, you coming in the spirit of Satan by telling the man to tempt the most high in order to see if he in the new covenant. Now, let me show you this. This is uh, Matthew chapter four. Uh, I started verse five. Then the devil uh, taketh him up, which he this is the spiritual demon Satan dealing with uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of the Most High, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Yahweh said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And you see the spirit that this man is coming in. He's telling you, Hey, do this so you can prove you in a new covenant. Let's see how that works. It's the same spirit that they coming in, man. All right. They coming in this spirit. Um, and see, these guys are really uncomfortable right now because their leader, Tahar, he's going off. You know, they're losing. He's talking about he's the he's the doorkeeper, which that ain't nowhere in the scriptures. But he's saying he the doorkeeper. You got to go through him to get to the kingdom of heaven. You got to go through GMS to get to the kingdom of heaven and get to the Lord all that stuff he and he even went as far as to say hey the lord don't care if you uh sincere if you ain't going through gms see these guys are upset they uncomfortable and i'm finna show even more um now check this out he penned this comment which was interesting i told him well you don't believe we're in the new covenant or justified by the blood of the lamb yet so yes you will be chased by animals and esau too before you perish along with the old covenant unless you repent of course and believe now after that they didn't even respond to what's really uh the issue they didn't even respond to what's being said about blood of the lamb you know Yasha Wamba spoke on it for a little bit then look at what they're doing they're talking about the brother Darasha which is another fellow brother uh minister of the new covenant talking about him and fraud and 150 K and adultery. And then, um, then he goes and he, Yasha Wamba says it. Oh, whoa, I committed adultery and possibly maybe doing the project bill. I stole 150 K you stand on that slander. See, they ignoring the whole fact of what Tahar is doing and all the wickedness that they've been doing and been going around. See, it ain't about the Lord of righteousness to them anymore. They trying to make brothers out to be liars and everything like that, which y'all can go and read these comments. I'm not going to read all of them. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> the bros in GMS know what happened in that money loan, man. The bros in GMS know what happened in that money loan. And you know how money was taken and how brothers all lost $1,400, $2,800 a piece and stuff like that. 
while these men, they got paid. They benefited from it. You see what I'm saying? And all the other brothers, they lost. They know what it is. And, you know, but see, what they're trying to do is get, you know, uh, uh, they're not talking about what's the new covenant. They're not really trying to get to things in the spirit. They want to they want to get on a, a grimy carnal level, you see. And I'm just letting it be known right here. This is this is what's up. This is the spirit of Satan right here. You know what I'm saying? They talking to me about the brother Derasha and, and I think they mentioned Maccabee. They mentioned, you know, other ministers of the new covenant trying to accuse brothers of lying, different stuff like that, ignoring all the wickedness and everything that's being done. So I want you brothers, you know, hey, be on alert because these men are in a very uncomfortable position. Like I say, they leader going off. Everything, they having problems within their congregation. A lot of men are leaving their congregation and they're actually becoming ministers of the new covenant. They're actually becoming believers. These men are upset. So it's probably going to get ugly, man. It's probably about to get ugly, you know, because they at their last end. Pride goes before destruction. They don't hold no weight no more. The only weight that these men hold are within their own little congregation. They don't hold no weight outside of that anymore because that, that stronghold has been torn down. And I'll just read this last comment, you know, that I put. Say what y'all want to say and do what y'all got to do. Since y'all can't deal scripturally and spiritually in the Lord, all you have left is to try and discredit us with whatever personal info you think you have while hoping the people believe you. Either way, we're going to serve the Lord. The Lord is about to show you all. Shalom. So the whole point, you know, like I say, these, these guys are mad, man. <laughs> they mad about what's going on, man. But, hey, for this house, hey, we're going to serve the Lord, man. Lord will, y'all were edified. Hey, brothers, be on the lookout for all these things that's going on. Because remember, hey, we destroying Satan's plans. We tearing down strongholds spiritually. And see, we going against spiritual wickedness in high places. And, it, 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 and we got a lot of opposition from the spiritual demon Satan, you know, uh, uh, dealing with these things. You see what I'm saying? Because we destroying his plans on a, uh, uh, on what he's doing to deceive and uh, 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 while we're gathering the righteous. Okay? So, Lord will, you are edified. Brothers, be on alert. Shalom.